Hello panda bears, panda here, and welcome back to another Let's Do Random Gaming Okami video. So last video we had just finished defeating Crimson Helm, and we ran into Waka who t took our crystal, um, I forgot what it was called, but he took our crystal. And he is on his way to the moon cave where Orochi's lair is. He prophesied that we would have um, a uh, reunion of sorts with a, um, I forgot what he said, it was like a pretty girl, pretty much. That was, that's our, that's my translation to what he said. So, <coughs> I'm gonna go to the moon cave <coughs> right now. Um, I don't, oh, he's speaking. Whoa there, Furball! Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadowy creature with those heads really that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all these brush techniques too. You didn't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Nagi was the stronger of you two. Damn, me soon. Don't tell Amy off like that. Or maybe that legendary sake really packed a punch. Maybe it's that. Don't, 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 don't put me down. Yeah, it must have been the sake. There you go. Blame it on the sake. Amy, the legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? Uh. And isn't it about time for that village's n annual festival? Oh, so we gotta go back to that village. Alright, well, we're, we're gonna head there now then, Isu. If you so desire. Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. It just might do us some good. Besides, a good festival is always fun. If I could go... <laughs> if I could get Sakuya a little tipsy, then maybe... Oh my god, Isu, just quit it. Stop, stop right now. <laughs> Emmy, I suddenly feel like a new man. <laughs> Let's go. You are way too small for Sakuya. Just, just so you know, Isu. Okay. Unless I, I don't want to say it, but I'm gonna. Unless this is some type of giant test type of shit here. In which that case, that's just wrong for this game to be having this type of sh shit in it. But whatever. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> We just, we gotta go to that village, uh, Kamiki village, so let's head there. Whee! Damn, I thought I'd make it. Alright, so there's nothing for us here except the merchant. I need to buy some more mermaid coins if I plan on using them, uh, which I kind of do. Wait a minute. I remember this. There was tre Ooh. There was treasure over here. Oop, sorry chickens. And I think I know what to do. Oh god, this is going to be difficult for me. Oh jeez. Just, just Oh my god, I can't believe I failed that. What the hell? Ooh, pigs. What the hell? Oh, there I am. Okay, I'm not the type to try again when I fail, unless it's like um, you know, you you have to do this in order to move on. Is this a person right here? Oh my god, it is. Uh, it's a gourd farmer. Yep, you can't beat one of Bamboo Cutter's baskets. Look, it doesn't matter how much I put in, it never overflows. Hmm, looks like this craftsmanship is lost on you, huh? But it's a world apart, I tell ya. Look closely and you'll see. Well, aren't you mad, sir? Oh, I missed. Boom. Hey, watch out for my gourds. <laughs> that was kind of funny for some reason. I don't know why that was so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't. I can't with myself today. 
Oh jeez. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm not the type to keep trying and shit, but you know, I'll 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 give it two more times. If I fall again, I'll try again. But if I fall that third time, I'm giving up. Cuz if third time's a charm and I don't do it, then it just it's just not meant to be. Oh dear. Okay. We're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. <gasps> no! What the f- <laughs> We're so close. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, like I said, one more time and then it's- I'm done. We were so damn close. What the hell just- What did I do? Ugh. Unbelievable. You know, I could be breaking these lamps on the way. Are these even breakable? Nope, never mind. Alright, so, like I said, we'll try one more time. And hopefully, this time we can do it because I'm not too good with the jumping. Alright, so we're here. Come on, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, come on. Ugh! Woo! We did it! <laughs> Third time's a charm, huh? Yes, it is. Alright, we'll feed the chickens since they're stuck up here. Chickens can't fly, so how the hell they get even... how they even get up here? Oh, jeez. What's the treasure? A stray bead. Nice. Oh, look at that view. Not bad, except for those mountains in the back, which are just not mountains in my eyes. Oh, some fragment. Nice. I thought I saw something up there. I was wrong. Okay, what happens if we fall this way? Boom. Right in front of the save point. And, of course I'm gonna save yet again. Uh, my anxiety will keep... Staying. Anyways, did I pass the merchant? I think I did. Uh, pfft, duh. <laughs> Looks like the village is back on its feet again at last. Hopefully the big windmill back in action should draw in the crowds. Now's my chance to get business thriving. I've got plenty of beaming smiles in stock, that's for sure. Is that supposed to be funny? Or is he just saying that? Alright, well I got wares to sell. <laughs> I've got wares to sell. We'll sell that, we'll sell this, and this, and the pearl is 5500, not bad. Alright. We're gonna. Oh, it's th this is that merchant. Okay. Um. Yeah, we don't need any of this. I just need some. Wait, how much food do I have? I think I have enough. Maybe I'll. Thirty-one, thirty. Maybe I'll buy four of these. Uh, just cause. Cause they're all th in the thirty, so might as well. Anyways, mermaid coins. So I'll buy five. Whoosh! That's not what I meant to do. Maybe I'll buy five more. What the. F what is going on? <laughs> 15,000 yen, oh shit. But that'll leave me with 20, so I, I'm good with 20. I don't need to buy it for a good while if I have 20. And so I have 20. Alright, so on to Kamiki Village. Did I just... Wait a minute. I passed the spring, didn't I? Fuck. Alright, let's go back. Let me just make sure that the spring is over there. Oh, it looks like there isn't a spring over there. Where did I... Where did I use a spring? I don't remember where I used it. Well... Well, that sucks that my memory is not let, allowing me to... Go to this memory of the mermaid spring because that that was gonna make things a lot faster but what the heck let's just walk or rather run Woo. oh shit I made it I didn't think I was gonna do it oh I forgot to equip my new weapon. Damn, was I too late? Either that or my ink king was really off.
Oh, demon fang, yay. Anyways. Let's equip- Oh, but this one's stronger, isn't it? Since it's the third tier of the- f The- The reflectors. This is just the second tier of the- Um, rosary beads. Oh well. I'll keep them on for a while, and if it doesn't do enough damage, I'll try out the reflector again. See the difference between the damage that I caused. Okay, so why is this river still dry? Did I miss something? Oh no! Ah! I don't like the nighttime that much. Who's this person? I don't understand. The mermaid spring's always given us such lovely fresh water. How can it dry up all of a sudden? You tell me. Did I... M Seriously, did I miss something? Oh, let's see, this is in the direction of... Where I just came from. Oh. Treasure. Woohoo. A stray bead. What do you know? Find all these kinds of beads and get a special reward. I'm so confused. I don't remember <laughs> if I even fixed this stuff. What are these towers? Is there a way to get up there? Oh! Oh gosh, this is another one of those- Oh no! Oh jeez, what it- what- All for treasure! Oh gosh, we can do this. We can do this. Oh no! What the hell was that? <laughs> I freaked out and they got the best of me. <laughs> no. It's not my fault. I just, I have a fear of flag thingies that I have to jump on. I just, I can't do it. <sighs> Maybe if I turn the camera like I did in the, in the, the Gale, or, Oh, jeez, no. <sighs> what the? Ugh, I'm so mad. You know what? Screw it. That spring, I never got that treasure and never gonna get picked. Oh, God, no. Give me back the reflector. I, I think I got... Oh, never mind. I think I like this. Not bad on the damage and... Oh, give take. Oh, I don't even know what you call that. And no demon fangs. What does a dog or wolf have to do to get some demon fangs around here? All right, so let's see. Where where are we right now? I'm pretty slow. Okay, that's where I am. Yeah, that spring's gonna have to wait if there's even. What's over here? It's a bridge. Well, there's water there, so I don't have to worry about anything there, but... Seriously. <laughs> I just want to do that jumping the flag thing. I just, I can't do it. I freak out. And I can't cut the bolt. Either way, I mean, the, the first two flags are fine. But the distance between the second and the third flag, that was just a bit much. So I don't think I would have made it anyway. I mean, I don't jump that far. Anything over here? Besides a squirrel... Oh, tigers. Oh, I already fed them. Alright, so moving on, I guess.
No, see? I thought the- oh! Treasure! Hey! It's a vase! Not too shabby! I think it was actually here that I used the mermaid spring. I guess just to avoid trying to find the exit to go to uh, um, that area. I forgot the name already. Uh, let's see if we can find out where the area is. I found it, what do you know? This is the place, right? I'm so confused now. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die. And it's dark, what the hell? Oh my god. Looks like it could start pouring at any moment. We might even be in for a storm. Whew. Nervousness starts again. I heard pigs. Oh, they're bored. Ah, so cute. Wait, they want seeds too? And I fed the big one this time. Not bad. 153. Okay, I just gotta make it to 250, I believe. Yeah, let's let's just hold off on the health, so we can get some more ink. Uh, yeah, we'll get more ink. We'll try to. All right, so freaky already. Oh my god. I'm so scared right now. That's what I call a full moon. Come to think of it, doesn't the Kamiki festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're gonna finish off all the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Amy, get the lid out. I think I read that right. I'm just, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was lead and not lead. Oh, the music. Oh no. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano! You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the A-Purification Sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the A-Purification Sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shiranui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone! I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. 
There isn't a drop of eight purification sake left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible! I mean, a purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the moon cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Oh, Susano. Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. Hiccup! I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Then, I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the, the, the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukuyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Susano said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? 
I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi! You're not going to. Behold, my thunder brew. The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi! Wait! Jeez. Whoops, wrong button. Come out, Susano. Is the sacrificial arrow the work of that legendary monster? Are we doomed to be devoured by that horrible thing? I'm begging you, come out and deliver us from this evil. Poor on the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the choice chosen maiden. Nagi and Shiranui have put an end to that abominable tradition, but alas, it has come back to haunt us. Oh dear Kushi, forgive us. There is nothing we can do. Oh no. She's right there. You okay, sweetie? Don't try to stop me, Isun. Or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kaminki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, he's... I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. And this is the part where I like the music. Not you too, Amy. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. This is the music I like. What on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. Oh jeez. Waka. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. 
I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet! the serpent crystal he stole from us Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me and Materasu. Why you? What's the meaning of this? <coughs> meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course. Only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Ha ha ha. Dang it! Looks like we've been set up again, Amy. Aww, Amy. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, ma chérie? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. What the hell? <laughs> Pardon, ma chérie. That wasn't a very good one. Or is it pardon? Pardon, ma chérie. Au revoir. Ah, guess we're stuck here. Aw. <laughs> so cute. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Emmy. It's no use. Let's go check the Let's go check the place out. <laughs> oh no, we're stuck here. Mm. Oh, Susano. He's so scared. God damn it, Susano! You're it's your fault we're in this part of the story in the first place. We're in this dilemma. Huh? Oh great. The stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Oh, jeez. Here we go.
Whoa. That was quite a fall. What have we gotten our ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Cushy's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the great Orochi. Over there. Oh, you. Never thought I would see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. You fix them for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Why, you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? <coughs> yeah, look at that foolish mug. <coughs> You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And to stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah, I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. <laughs> they fed me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Calcified cavern. With a ghost facey on the left. Sake? You obtained Thunder Brew. Fragrant sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skill. Hey, isn't this that babe Kushi sake? Hmm, there's still some left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. It's a gate. Alright, so... Treasure! I obtained a holy bone, small. A small holy bone. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need large. Well, I don't need any of this except the money. Oop. Can't go that way. Okay, that was weird. I didn't even aim this. Can I even cut this one down? Nope. Alright. Mm, I guess we gotta go down. Ooh. Still watch our step though. Oh jeez. Oh, that scared me. Oh, that didn't work. That worked. Oof! Yay, demon fangs, nice! About time we got some demon fangs. Jeez. Oh man. Treasure! You obtained mask. Imp's face covered. Wear it to be accepted as one of their own. Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. But this one's so plain, no one, no design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. 
I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Oh, jeez. Um. Well, let's do an angry face, I guess. Put a nose here. And then... Smiley face with fangs. I kind of messed it up, but it's whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't look half bad on you. In fact, you look better than your run of the mill imp. Do you like it? No. <laughs> Let's try a different angry face. Okay, okay, Furball. Don't get all bent out of shape. Guess I'll have to redo it. Give me a minute, will ya? <laughs> okay. Um. This is harder than it looks. Jeez. <clears throat> I'm still sticking to that angry face with fangs and teeth. Let's do a tongue. Oh my god, that's even worse. Hell no. <laughs> now you're talking. Bet you like it this time. No, we're gonna do one last face and then that's it. Okay. Um, let's do eyebrows first. This is okay, this is just stupid. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like my angry faces. Can we do one more? Sheesh, you are picky. Guess I'll have to redo it again. Give me a minute, will ya? <sighs> Alright. Come on. Come on. Last time. Better be good. Damn, I should've done the tongue first. I really want that tongue. I don't know why. better look better than the first three I think that I did whatever we'll stick with it yep let's just let's just stick cuz I'm not, I'm not gonna be any better at drawing this type of shit cuz I just I can't do it but seriously this is no time to fool around only an imp would get a kick out of wearing the mask like this well we're screwing around here that Orochi's gonna take poor little Kushi and and I can't bear to think about it I screw it. whatever. I can't do faces. <laughs> Especially not on this. Am I going the right way? Yeah, it's this way. Oh, water. Huh. Frozen treasure. Can I knock this flame over? Nope. Well, okay then. Let's go. Hmm? What are you doing here? 
Looking for intruders? Question mark. There was that silly looking wolf a while back, but nothing else out of the ordinary. Question, question, question mark. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay. I'm on it. Can I attack you? <laughs> really green. Moon cave. Ghost on the side. Whew. Huh? What do you want? I bet you want to trade jobs with me. Well, the answer is no. I've always wanted to operate this elevator, and now, finally, it's my turn. I couldn't wait to turn the crank. That makes the elevator move, you know. When the water below recedes, I'm gonna raise and lower this elevator to my heart's content. And there's a lock over there. And an imp over here. Sigh. Where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? It should have been ready by now. Lord Orochi's gonna chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those darn cooks doing? Hey, don't ring that Epicurean bell yet. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's rung before that. Really? I'm really curious to see what happens. Can I do it? Oh shit. Aw, oh, damn. It just caused the scroll to appear. No. Alright, it better be easy to kill. Oh, jeez. Well, I didn't get to cut it. I swear, this is like an endless pit of monsters. I'm gonna be mad. Well, I guess that's it. And I didn't even need these, but okay. And with good time, too. Eh, that wasn't so bad. Those are lizards on a stick. Ice. Hmm? This is a fine time for the chef to disappear. Last time I remember, he was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? Oh! Well, okay. I didn't know ice could hurt, but okay. Oops. Can I cut these? Uh, yes I can, but there's nothing here. Money! Okay, well... He's inside the pot then? Oh no, I messed up! Wait, I'm supposed to do one at a time. I'm stupid. Owie, owie, owie! Hot stuff! Hey, sweetheart! Yeah, you! 
Get me out of here before I end up well done. Owie, owie, owie. Phew. Ajimi. That was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can just call me Ajimi. Head chef Ajimi. Ajimi. I was cooking with such tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care? What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Say, how would you like to be my assistant? Assistant? Oh no, I... I have to whip up a lip-smacking appetizer to wet Lord Oro Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait. We, uh, didn't come here to help, you see. Oh, how sh should I put it? Never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, Fruitcake. That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There's a, there are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here goes. Ogre liver. Lips of ice. Eyeball of fire. Black demon horn. Got that? Okay then, I'm counting on you. Oh, silly me, I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. Well, I know where this key's gonna go. Oh, save point! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, save point. I needed that. Okay. Mm, what happens if I jump in? Oh. Well, okay, nothing happened. Alright then. This key goes over here then. Boom. Dead. Oh, I was like, what do I do now? And they opened. Funny enough. Alright, so... Watch your step. Watch where you're going, Furball. Oh no. They're facing down. Oh, well, I can do this. Alright. When they face down, you know, stand on top of them. You fall, just like that. This has got to go, it's in the way. Oh, what? Oh, bullshit. Alright then. Yeah, I can go straight here. Alright. Okay, this is creepy. Hmm? Check out this eyeball lantern. Damn it. Check out this eyeball lantern, Emmy. I don't trust the shifty eye thing. It's kind of freaking me out. I'd feel a whole lot better if we could make it shut somehow. Bam. There you go. Oh, jeez. I saw it. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. Ugh. Oh, that was fast. Oh god. I didn't see that. Oh. Ugh. These rocks are in the way. Jeez. What?
And still no demon fangs. Wasn't well, that something? Oh, good time and uh and didn't take any hits really. I don't think I took any, but I'm not sure. What's in here? You obtained ogre liver. Ew fresh liver used as an ingredient in Norochi's appetizer. Cut these boulders. Doesn't seem like we can do anything else here. Well, I guess we gotta go back now. Well, nothing interesting there. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the ink to fill for good measure. And we can go... No! No, no, no! Oof. I'd rather go to the farther one. <laughs> All right, so we're good. Okay, that wasn't too bad. A water spout thingy. Was that there before? I'm assuming not, because there was a cutscene for this. Ah, damn. Alright, so... Nothing here. Let's go through. We gotta go this way. Breaks easily, so be careful. Careful now, Amy. Better tread lightly. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh, my heart. <laughs> Ooh, that scared me. Damn it. I didn't do a straight line. Demon Fang, yes. What I'm looking for. Oh, well that's... sucky. <sighs> Just cause I took a hit. 
water. No, I see what I have to do. Anything else down here, though? Yeah, probably not. Okay. Don't you go opening the valve without the signal. I'm warning you, Lord Orochi doesn't suffer fools lightly. Don't you realize we're just cogs in the machine? Now be a good little cog and stick to what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay. Give the signal using the bamboo fountain. Hmm. What? Oh, I thought I saw something in the water. <gasps> oh, I see treasure. I almost thought that that wouldn't have worked. Ah, exorcism slip. Okay. What's over there? Is that ice? Wait, that's where- no. Let me try to check what's over there and see if I can make it up. Oh yeah, that's too high for me to make it. Oh! <gasps> I made it! Oh, it's ice. Okay. Hmm. Looks like we can. Oh, jeez. Damn. How the hell did I miss that? so bad. Eyeballs. Ooh. I thought I was gonna fall through. Oh no. Oh no. Holy smokes! Get a load of that, Amy! The water at the bottom of this pit looks poisonous. Even you wouldn't stand a chance if you fell in there. Yeah, I'm not trying to fall in things now, so... Okay... Oh, a butt. Whoa! Wait, did I land where I was supposed to land? Oh, I see treasure. Supposed to go to the treasure. 
Hmm. Anything down there? No. Oh well. I'm so confused. Whoops. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, I mean, you are actually heavier than you look. That power of yours could easily handle a broken bridge, but why don't you think about going on a diet first? Well, screw you then, Emmy. I can fix the bridge, but the ice is still there. Can I go back? Yeah. I need a key for that door, so what the hell? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I'm so lost right now. can do here hmm I'm trying to think well the water went down gulp now that the water below has receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel all weak in the knees. The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if I don't keep a firm grip on this crank here. So you better not disturb me. Got it? Yikes. Run out of ink if we don't get there fast. Oof. Oof. He almost left me. Or I mean, he almost went with, with me. <laughs> I guard the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. Hehehehe. <laughs> That's fire. Oh shit. Oh, that fucking scared me. Jesus. Bastards. Oh, let's... Damn it. I'm done trying. With with this batch anyway. Just cause I took a hit, bastards. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh, jeez. Oh. What monster do I have to fight now? Hmm? What's with the ice? This ice statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. Amy, this is no ordinary chill. It's kind of a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. Better be careful. Oh no. Oh no. This thing is gonna kill me for sure. Nah. Oof. Woo! All I have to do is just avoid your top attack. Jesus, hit him, Hammy. Oh, no. Yeah, not too bad. Oi. Hell no, hell no, hell no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, gosh. No demon fangs? Oh my goodness. Oh, what? I took too long? Seriously, what? I wonder what happens when you run out of time completely. Because I haven't, I haven't let it run out of time. So. Ooh, fire. This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Constellation! Okay, so it's one here. One here, and I'm assuming right here. Yes. It's a phoenix. Nice. A pipe, huh? Ah, a materasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Sealed away by the dark forces, I have spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. Oh, Moigami. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Moigami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. Got the power of fire. Wow, never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Moigami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. Its technique, known as Inferno, reduces almost anything to ashes. Hmm? Who should be our first victim? I know, that ice over there. Listen up, Ami. Inferno is based on the power of fire. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno. But actions speak louder than words, so try it out on that ice. Place your brush on that flaming statue and draw a line to that ice. Alright. You did it, you big furball! That's one hot technique. It'll probably only singe a few scales off that Orochi, but it'll make crispy crittles, crit crittles, critters out of the snake's underlings. Okay, so I think that's all we have here, I guess. Oh, oh I thought I saw something. Oh, so we're back here, huh? It's been so long since anyone stopped by. I was worried the crank was gonna rust from lack of use. Well, let's crank this thing on up. No, I'm not trying to go up yet. 
Oh, that bastard. I just wanted to see this crack in the wall. I should have done this first. What an idiot am I? Oh, treasure. Treasure! Infinity stone. Boo. Okay, so if I go back in there... What is that? Is it just... What happens if I fall in? Oh, I don't wanna know. So come in here... And then come back out... Oh, they're here! Oof! I thought I was done for! Back for another ride? Well, let's crank this thing on up. Whee! <laughs> My ugly face. Oh gosh, this thing forever. Oh. Is that a monkey? Or an ape? Oh, we're here? Oh, okay. Oh shit! We're back in the kitchen! Alright, let's just fight whatever's in here. Oh god. Oh jeez. You've gotta be kidding me. Whoops. Damn it, I fucked up. I have no idea why I jumped. Woo. Wait, it died? Okay. I didn't think it could die. Nice. Lips of ice, chewy lips used as an ingredient in the Rochi's appetizer. Oh gosh. That was just horrific. Disgusting. Okay, so so far we have two ingredients out of the four that they asked us for. And we have the power of the phoenix called Inferno. And we are... I guess we're halfway there, I guess you could say to um, Orochi so we'll end it here and we will continue this adventure up to the final battle with Orochi and I'll see you guys in the next video for that bye panda bear